G'day there. This is a Sony Bravia old rear projection LCD TV that I found on the side of the road and it did work a bit. But it had um, blue specks all over the screen. Um, fairly dim in certain light it wasn't that noticeable, in other light it was very noticeable. Um, and But it kept stopping intermittently. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it wouldn't with flashing an error code on the LEDs down there. So. Um, I tried to get in touch with Sony about it, but they just insisted I take it to a Sony service centre. So, I can't really be bothered doing that, it's a bit thick and heavy, and nobody really seems to want it. And the picture's not perfect, so it's parts now. Getting pulled apart. So, one of the cool finds, this high voltage lamp. It actually runs at 5,000 volts and 100 watts. So, if you do the maths on that, I think that's... um. It's either 50 milliamps or 500 microamps. Either way, the high voltage power supply is going to be fun to play with when I get it out. <clears throat> Which is this one down here, this board here. You can see the fly back there. Another transformer, some caps and transistors. And I checked the um, voltage on the power input there. And there's 490 volts DC. So it's just straight rectified, um, 240 volts AC mains feeding into that. I'm guessing there's some kind of um, ampage limiter there, because it's only thin wire. It's certainly not going to handle the full 10 amps. But you'd get out of the power point before the circuit breaker blew. But well, that's going to be fun to play with when I get it out. Uh, we've got the power supply board over here. Lots of cool parts on there, some good capacitors on there. This one's a um, 10 volt, 15,000 microfarad. So practically a super cap. There's a couple other big ones tucked in there. This transformer here only seems to have these two wires into it. So I can see under the tape it does appear to be center tapped on this other side. I have some extra windings available, but um, I think it's just being used as a choke. Possibly to limit the mains current going to the high voltage or to limit the current going to something else. And over this side is the input boards. Different inputs at the back. So there's a TV tuner there, no digital, just old analog, which is getting turned off here on the dog coach at the end of this week. And there's probably some sort of audio amp there, I'm guessing. A few other useful transistors, a couple of small caps. Not heaps of useful stuff there, but I'll probably desolder most of it. And down here we can see there's a um, big fan, and the lamp lives on the other side of that fan. And somewhere here, I think in this metal box, well down here somewhere there is a um, LCD screen that the lamp shines up through the bottom of. And that hits a mirror that's in here, which you probably can't see, you can see the top of it there. That blue stripe is the top of the tape on the top of the big glass mirror. And further down the bottom there, I think you can just see a lens. Zoom in down there. It's a bit dark. So that lens projects the image from the LCD screen with the lamp behind it. Up onto the big mirror. And that displays on the big tinted um, Fresnel lens. So there'll be some good parts there anyway. So I'll get back to stripping it apart and I'll do an update soon. G'day there. I got this um, big rear projection LCD pulled apart. Finally. And I thought I'd show you how it works. Because it's rather cool. So I've got a big high voltage lamp here. That would be bolted on the front. Shining into those two prisms there. It's powered by this high voltage board here which I'm going to keep. That's a beauty. It essentially reflects around, I don't know how well the camera is going to show this, all these different coloured tinted lenses. Come out. You see that one reflects red, it lets everything else through. And there's a blue and a green and a yellow one in there. And there's these other lenses that do a bit of focusing. And they don't do a lot of focusing with the camera. That's um, probably five times magnification to my eyeball. Oh, interesting. 
they do make quite a pretty little sunspot. So they're going to be handy for a few things. And there's one, two, three, four. This one's got a really heavy um, cut on it. See the bulge there and really flat on one side. It's real big fish eye. So some of those lenses are going to be very handy. Little colour filtering lenses might be good too. But anyway, after the projector light goes through there and separates all the different colours out, shines through this teeny weeny little set of three LCD screens. I'm guessing there's a red, blue and a green, or a red, blue and a yellow there. Probably red, blue and yellow going by the tints on there. And then that shines out this way. And don't ask me how those two side ones do it. Into this lens here, which would be plugged into the front of that. Be sitting on there somehow. And this lens actually goes around 90 degrees. So there's the roof and the sun and stuff. It's actually not a bad little lens and you can get a really tiny view of stuff this way. So that might be handy for some different things too, if I want to get some sunlight to go around a corner or something. Some great stuff in this rear projection LCD TV if you're into mirrors and lenses. These little Flies eyes lenses are pretty interesting too. See the um, dots there, you can see some of those ones in the middle are um, a bit differently focused, so they're quite precise to send the um, light in different directions around to the different things. Now, one of the reasons this TV got scrapped, and I can see the problem right there, was because it had um, a whole bunch yellow discoloration down one side of the screen and if you look at that lens it does appear to be rather scorched so that was probably the source of the yellow discoloration in the screen but overall I am pretty happy hmm, interesting bit of red light reflecting around in there if one of the lenses, obviously. Well, I'm pretty happy with the whole of lenses out of this rear projection TV. There's also another good big internal rotary fan, whatever you call those ones. There. Got a big fan in there. There's another fan that came off the top here somewhere that kept the lamp cool. Floating around, the usual assortment of plastic garbage and circuit boards and stuff. So there you go, if you've ever wondered what's inside a rear projection LCD screen, that's it. And that is the little tiny screen there. Three screens for three different colours. And that gets blasted by the lamp and goes through this lens onto that mirror which reflects it onto this big lens and don't freak out I haven't taken the tinting off that yet so it's safe to put in the sun it just makes a big shade spot to use that to focus the sun I have to take it out of its frame and strip a layer of black stuff off and then I can use it and I'm hoping I'll be able to get it back in its frame again. Alright that's it for now thanks